This Shanghai resident took part in a rare street protest against China's strict anti-COVID measures. For his safety, we won't show you his face. I'd never seen a protest like that in Shanghai. It's because of the health restrictions and general oppression. We've reached our limit. The protest was peaceful, but police have started to detain more and more people. I saw someone who just said, I have the right to be here, it's legal, and a dozen police officers surrounded him. They beat him and took him away. No one dared to film it. We were too scared. Our interviewee says he'd like to protest again, but fears the authorities' swift and brutal crackdown. I'm pessimistic that things will change. In our country, there's no freedom of speech. We feel totally powerless. Authorities have reinforced police presence in China's economic capital. Here, where the protests took place, there are new CCTV cameras, patrols and barricades. The once lively shopping street is now barely recognisable. Tuesday, Shanghai police were caught on camera in the metro, checking passengers' phones to look for photos of the protest. But despite attempts at nipping this movement in the bud, some people are intent on showing their exasperation. Tuesday evening in the southern city of Guangzhou, anti-riot police clad in hazmat suits clashed with demonstrators. To appease citizens, local authorities have announced a slight easing on COVID restrictions, but on a national level, Beijing has not yet changed the principle of its zero-COVID policy.